The three things that companies that are expanding or relocating look for, talent, which is our workforce, and that is career source, thank you very much, existing buildings or pad ready sites, and incentives. And that's where government can play a role as incentives. So last year, next slide, I'm gonna just tap, okay? You recall that I said we compete on a national and international basis. Well, last year you may recall that Florida was number 11 in the US. We have moved up actually to number eight on a competitive basis, so woo -hoo. Next slide, so what does Florida actually have? You can see that Florida's economy is a big asset for what is going on in the Sunshine State. And you can see our workforce, we are a B minus right now. So we have moved up to number, we're kind of going in and out, but we're doing a pretty good job. Next slide. So living in Flagler County, next slide. This is our growth trends in Flagler County. You can see we have really grown. So this is also indicative of what is happening with our workforce. We have to be able to live. So actually these are our price structures in Flagler County. This is kind of indicative of what's going across the nation. To be able to live in any single county, you can see from December, these are from 2019 to 2023, um, how our pricing in our residential units are going. So we have seen a huge increase in pricing in residential units, which also play into the affordability. Next slide, please. Next slide. Okay, here is a problem when you're trying to recruit companies the affordability of our workforce being able to, to live and work in our county. I have taken all of the seven counties in Northeast Florida and included Volusia County because y'all are our neighboring county. And you can see the affordability of being able to, for a household income, to be able to live and work and the gap of 30% of the residential income. This is a huge problem across the United States, but also in Flagler County that we have to address from a government perspective. So you can see the gap that for an average home in our county, the average um, is $1,127 for an in, for an average home, as well as a family of four. That is the difference. Next slide, please. If an individual is trying to buy a home in our county, the difference is $1,669. This presents a huge problem to be able for our workforce to live and work in our county. Next slide. Talent and workforce in Flagler County. That again, we're going back to the three top things that, can't, that our work um, businesses look for. Next slide. You can see our workforce has increased. These are the number of people that actually are looking or can work in Flagler County. Next slide. Here is the number of people that are actually the available workforce as opposed to the employed citizens. And you can see the actual gap between the two. So there is a, a gap. And that's usually about normal in normal times as opposed to, you can see the large gap during the pandemic. Next slide. Unemployment trends, which are about level, we're at 3.7. 4% is usually considered full employment. Next slide. We can see our comparisons from the US, Florida, and Flagler County. We're running a little higher than what is normal in um, the state of Florida, the state of Florida is running at about 2.9%. Next slide. Our, our Flagler's top five. These are our top five employers in Flagler County. Not surprisingly, because we're an older community, Advent Health is our largest employers. We have, a, we're running at a little under 50% 
of our community are 65 years and older, actually 55 plus. So it's not surprising that our main um, employer is Advent Health. Our second highest employer is Public Supermarket, Advent, um, ALSW Yellowstone, the Reunion Club, and Boston Whaler, who we just recruited, came back to our county two years ago with 400 employees. Next slide, please. Our largest business clusters are, not surprisingly, our tourism business cluster, which is traditionally low-paying businesses. Then the second is retail trade. Again, that doesn't spur economic development. It's a result of solid economic development. The third largest is our health um, care. Fourth is administrative. And fifth is education. Then the next slide, please. Then you can see all of our clusters in this one slide and see how it all the tree map. Next slide. If you look at our total workforce of about 50,000, you will see a little over 50,000, about 53,000 available workforce in our county. You can see that about 46% of our workforce actually leaves our county and goes elsewhere to work. Our analysis really show that it's probably because A, we don't have the jobs, and two, our pay structures are very low in, in Flagler County. Next slide. One of the things that we are looking at are shovel-ready sites or buildings that are actually available in Flagler County. This is a huge, next slide, this is a huge problem in Flagler County. The percentage of acreage in, in major land use categories, and this is something that both Palm Coast and the county and Bunnell have to look at. I looked, did it, no, not next slide, I'm sorry. Can you go back one? Yep, yep that's it. Um, I did an analysis of all of the land in Flagler County. You can see that about 65% of land in Flagler County is in agricultural uses. Residential land is about 12%. Next slide. But when you look at the taxable value of land, you will see that 88% of the taxes are derived by residential. You cannot run a government and supply services to your residents at this type of, using this type. Normal counties and municipal governments, the true balance you should have about a third of your tax structure coming from industrial, um, the industrial component. This kind of imbalance is no way to run a government. You cannot do it. Especially when you consider that the Florida legislature is considering adding another $25,000 to save our homes exemptions. And that's a whole other topic. Next slide, please. Another thing that we're trying to do in Flagler County is identify land that is, can be used for industrial, or like, let me rephrase that, not heavy industrial, but light industrial use. About 15 years ago, a company came in and did a study for Flagler County, and there were about 25, 30 different properties that were appropriate to do an industrial site. Now we're down to this, this many left, and it is rapidly declining. The problem is that most, a lot of those sites have been flipped to residential uses. Again, normal practices in economic development is that residential uses consume seven times the um, services than they produce. That is normal economic development understanding. Next slide, please. On the 22nd of January, I have been given permission by the Board of County Commissioners to look at some different ideas of going into incentives. Again, 
these are the third things that companies looked at when they were looking to expand or relocate into a county. Next slide, please. The, so what are our economic incentives? These are the kind of bullets that companies are looking at or the types of incentives that a company may receive. Next slide, please. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the 22nd, these were the incentives after doing a menu of about 10 different incentives for consideration by the Board of County Commissioners. These are the ones that the County Commissioners have given me permission to pursue. So in conclusion, um, it's next slide. Economic development in Flagler County is all about relationships. I'm a one man shop. So um, we have gotten, been able to proceed with Jack's USA Partnership, which is our official economic development organization in Northeast Florida. We have invited our local chamber, Greg, to be able to participate with me. We have a great relationship with our chamber. Uh, we have established great relationships with our municipalities, um, tried to move forward with our business community. We did have a Jack's USA Summit in Flagler County, and they came down to our county to participate. Um, we participate in summits in our, with our local municipalities. We are participating in FPL's illumination that they will be having again in our county next week, believe it or not. And thanks to Robin, we participate with, with them. So thank you for your attention, and after, I'd be glad to answer any questions. Thank you for your time.